昨今なんですけれども何かとこう女性というキーワードを軸にこう話題になることが増えてきているような気がしますで、えー、それぞれいろんな立場でいろんな思いがあると思うんですが、えー、田代さんの場合はいかがでしょうかねそうですね女性のあのポイントからする質問も多いと思うんですけども必ずしも女性だけではなくで男性の問題でもあると思いますので女性の意見とかだけではなくて女性と男性と一緒になって話せばあのいいことかなと思うことが多いです。Um, good afternoon, everyone. Guest, as you know, is Keiko Tashiro,、um, who is currently executive managing director and head of the Americas at Daiwa Securities Group. Here in Japan.、Um, Daiwa, as you know, is、um, Japan's second largest brokerage. Keiko san, if I may call her that, is the first woman to work、uh, to be named as a board director of Daiwa. It's not because Prime Minister Abe said they need to be more women in positions. So I feel actually、um, a, a bit sorry for them because even though they earned it and their male colleagues that were promoted at the same time、um, aren't, there's no big fuss. Uh, th they seem to be said to be made executive because of Mr. Abe, not because. But I have a, a question about the Japanese situation. First,、um, are you also,、uh, as there are so little、uh, women in leadership positions in Japan, are you also on committees directly advising、uh, the, go the government?、Uh, so could you influence?、Uh, Mr. Abe or one of his commi commis many commissions,、uh, that's one thing. And、uh, about the fertility rate and focusing on women, if you read the、um, commento in all the,、uh, like change.org or on blogos.com,、uh, I think half of the commenters are men.、Mm -hmm. I guess they are on the younger part of the society. And they Point at this kaksa shakai on this、uh, Piketty effect,、mm. so to speak. Uh, the, uh,、um, inequalities. Uh, yeah. Inequality. Mm -hmm. and,、uh, so, these lower income、uh, couples, even if they are a couple, they are not、uh, in the.、Uh, they can't. Start a family、mm -hmm. because of、uh, the situation. And here, we don't hear anything in the whole discussion about this Tok、uh, Tokyo Metropolitan affair, about this、uh, Kaksa Mondai, which is, I think, at the root of the problem, and which was also mentioned in the petition of change.org by the person who started this、uh, petition. Is this going to just go going down the drain if you really want to have? Uh, um, a higher fertility rate. If I know fertility rate is not your topic, but it's a consequence、mm -hmm. of your topic, so to speak. So, in, in regards to the committee, I actually reside in the US right now, so I'm not,、um, okay. not probably. But my company, which is Daiwa,、um, we've been trying to get our act together for the past 10 years. <coughs> Um, our, our chairman, our current chairman, has been a very strong force in trying to get women to remain in the workforce.、Um, and I think we're finally seeing the results after 10 years. And it's taken us 10 years to get、um, to, to the point. And I think how we can influence is,、uh, is the government or Mr. Abe is that.、Um, It, it takes time and it takes patience. And it's also that it's not, the, it's not because of headcount, it's because we want the woman in the workforce.、Uh, regarding、um, what you mentioned, I totally agree with you. And I was having a discussion with my colleagues in the car coming here is、um, actually, even before having kids, getting married, and I think there is actually statistics on that, is that you need to earn a certain amount of money before people get married. There's a threshold, and you can see that threshold in studies. So,、um, if you don't earn enough money, people are not getting married.、Um, so, that's number one. And I think the second one is if you don't feel comfortable about raising children, you're not going to have kids.、Um, and I think there's various ways that the government can try to change that, but it's not just the money element, it's the security and, and feeling comfortable.、Um, And that, that's not going to happen all of a sudden. So, but I, I do think it's going to be a very important element、um, in, in addressing the fertility issue. 
you said, uh, would you have asked a man the same question? Mm -hmm. So uh, the treatment to a man and a woman should be the same. So there should be a sameness, uh, in, mm -hmm. like in this equal opportunity, not only, but also in the treatment. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, compatible? Uh, if you want to have, they are different people, mm -hmm. you suggest, mm -hmm. because diversification, not uh, uh, in, in gender, in mm -hmm. culture, uh, in nationality, maybe in languages, etc. On the other hand, you promote a kind of equal or, or the same mm -hmm. treatment. So how do you then manage women versus men? Do you treat them the same? Or do you appreciate the diversity and tre you treat them differently? I think, Mike, uh, the question was opportunity. And I think opportunity is, is the same for anybody, whether it's a woman or a man. Because um, there's people in their lifestyles or lifespans, life cycles. Some people have children, some some men and women have children, some men and women don't. Some get sick, some don't. Some have parents that are ill, some don't. So you can't, you can't sort of categorize um, uh, people in, 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 in situations. So I think if you don't know, you say there's any, uh, any chance you can do, you can get it all, I think, for either for men or women. I think men and women are different, but I think the difference is not because women take care of kids, um, and men don't. And I think that's why um, what we're talking about is not sustainable. I think parents raise children, men, women give birth to their, and that is a difference. Um, and, I, and, and I think that should be respected. But I think in raising families, it's not she's raising her family, it's the family. And I think those are the situations that are the same. I think div diversification is that the experience of each and every individual is different. Um, so getting them all together is, is a strength rather than a nuisance um, because you have to communicate more. And I think we in Japan need to get used to communicating because um, you just can't have awun no kokyu and understand each other by sharing the same experiences. I think, I'm not sure if I've, I'm making myself clear, but I, so I think they, they, they are interlinked, but they, there, there is a difference. Getting towards the end of our time, but I'd like to ask you very one final question. In the ante room, I asked you whether you were optimistic about Japan. Mm -hmm. You said you were optimistic about the economy, but you were not so optimistic about social issues. Can you just say what you meant by that in relation to this subject? I mean, do you think the mindset of most people in Japan is still fundamentally opposed to seeing women rise in business or in any other sphere? Or, I mean, it's, it's all right, for, easy for us here. We're a group of internationally minded people in this room. But do you think that basically that you're still struggling against a very sort of conservative or reactionary mindset in this country? Um, I, I do because I think people um, the the people in Japan, um, there's a seniority system, and the people that are making the decisions tend to be more not as flexible as as the younger generation. And I think that's where I mean by the economy. We've learned our lessons and we're progressing, but the social issues that we have, not just about women, but all um, the population, um, immigration, these are issues that we need to talk about, and we're not even in a position to really talk about the issues outright yet. And I, maybe it's because I live in the U.S. and I'm not seeing it, um, and it's difficult to see what's happening in Japan from the U.S., but I, I think we need to really sit down and ask ourselves why we need more women in management. Is it, because otherwise it seems that it's just a number issue. The population is falling, we need more people working, thus we need women who are not working, working. And I don't think that's the right, I mean, I, I don't think that's the reason why we need more women in the workforce. I have a question not about women in finance mm -hmm. business, but more about women in business. Mm -hmm. Two days ago I read an article, there was an interview with a investment manager from Netherlands. She said in the interview, she made a fund investing in companies with a mixed leadership, 
man-woman leadership. Mm -hmm. Because she says um, that uh, mixed leadership has the best result. Mm -hmm. Could you, uh, and a lot of research was made in this, could you tell something about this mi mixed leadership or uh, women, uh, women in leadership, uh, men in leadership, what's, uh, what does it make for results? My consideration about Mr. Abe is that the, the, the important part is the diver diversity. That is what makes a company strong or a country strong. And, and I think that plays into um, the research that you just mentioned, that having a mixed or diverse group of people managing a company makes it stronger. Um, I, I can't point to why, but I think it's because more ideas um, and looking at m more various areas of how to grow the business than white male companies. She says men are too aggressive in investment. Yes. And women are less aggressive. Mm -hmm. So the mixture is the best. Yes. And I think you can say that if you have different nationalities as well as men and women, it would make it more dynamic for the same reason. And I think it will be difficult to get it together to make a decision to invest in certain companies, and that's where the challenge is of having a diverse company. Because in Japan, we, our strength, I think, in the past has been is aun no koku, meaning that we don't need to communicate, but we can understand each other. And I think that's what people rely on and is said to be Japanese strength. But it's getting more and more difficult. You mentioned in your talk uh, that a number of your peers had left uh, Japanese institutions to go to foreign financial firms. And it sounds like there were times when you thought very ambiguously about your own career. What made you stay at Daiwa? And um, do you have any comments on the differences that your peers might have, uh, women working in foreign financial firms, for example? The reason why I stayed is because I had no reason to leave. Um, because my career has been very interesting in a way that I've been able to change jobs, move to other various cities. Um, I was promoted when I felt that I was, it was, no, I deserved to be promoted. So my frustrations um, have been l much less than a lot of my other um, friends. I think there were differences and that's why they left is that if they stayed in a Japanese company, more so maybe 20 years ago than now, they would have to fight to be recognized for their potential or fight to be recognized for what they're doing when they have another male colleague doing like half the job but getting promoted. And I think that's the frustration that they had to fight with. And I think initially they thought that this was what, because it's an era that they have to do it. But doing it 10 years, they just said, I can't deal with it anymore, and they left. And I, have, I think they have all the right to do. And I, I don't think, it was the company's loss. The, the company that lost them, it was their loss. I'm not sure if the companies realize this, but. <laughs> いや、あの、やっぱりあの、ま、皆さんも関心を持ちなので、え、ぜひあの、続けて、ま、話してるだけだと何も進まないと思いますので、え、どういうあの、方向に持っていくかっていうのをあの、みんなで話せればいいなと